According to Dr Joel Furman, eating one large salad a day can, quote, literally change your life and make a huge difference in your overall health. Eating raw vegetables aids our digestion by providing lots of fibre and nourishes our body with phytochemicals and micronutrients that strengthen our immune system and help to fight cancer. A salad with the right ingredients can be an extremely powerful way to prevent and even help reverse cancer. So what vegetables should we be including to create the most powerful anti-cancer salad? Is there any science to back this all up? And what's wrong with these salads? Well, this astonishing study is going to be the foundation for this video. So let's hear as Dr. Michael Greger tells us more. The link to the original video is in the description below. A landmark study was published pitting 34 common vegetables against eight different types of human cancers. Breast cancer, brain tumors, kidney cancer, lung cancer, childhood brain tumors, pancreatic cancer, prostate cancer, and stomach cancer. What's being measured is tumor cell proliferation. Here's the control. You drip some water on a human breast tumor and nothing happens. It's still powering away at 100% growth rate. And these seven vegetables appear useless against breast cancer. But these six cut the cancer growth rate in half and these five at the end stop cancer growth completely. Stop these tumor cells dead in their tracks. So using this groundbreaking data, imagine you're standing in line at one of those custom made-to-order salad places where you get to choose your lettuce, choose your toppings, and then choose your dressing. First, let's choose our lettuce. Boston, endive, radicchio, romaine, or spinach. Which is healthier? Out of the five, spinach is number one against breast cancer. Remember, the farther down, the better it is at slowing down these cancer cells. Number one, against brain tumors. Number one, against kidney cancer. Number one, against lung cancer. And pediatric brain tumors. Number one, against pancreatic cancer, prostate cancer, and stomach cancer. Now, it's not number one overall. There are 16 vegetables more powerful at stopping stomach cancer growth than spinach, but out of those five salad greens, spinach wins out across the board against every cancer type tested. Yes or no? Do carrots slow down cancer cell growth rates more than 50%? The answer is no, 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 and no. So, shredded carrots aren't going to make our top toppings choice. What about shredded beets? Yes or no? Yes. Super yes. Kidney cancer is a no, close to 50%, but not quite there. But then, yes, 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 yes. So, Overall, yes for beets. Are we putting cucumber on our salad? As tasty as they may be, no. For most cancers, it suppressed tumor cell growth less than 50%. What about tomatoes? tomatoes either. One of the most important findings of the year. Which vegetable was it? Number one against breast cancer, garlic. Number one against brain tumors, garlic. Number two against kidney cancer, lung cancer, garlic. Childhood brain tumors, garlic. Pancreatic cancer, garlic prostate cancer, and stomach cancer, garlic. So might I suggest a garlicky salad dressing? The two best families of vegetables for cancer prevention are the cruciferous vegetables, like broccoli, kale, cabbage, and the allium family vegetables, like garlic, onions, and leeks. Let me just run through this one last time to highlight this important concept. 
starting from the beginning. Cruciferous vegetables in green, allium family vegetables in yellow. So what I want you to notice is the clustering of colors over to the right side, which illustrates the power of these two superfood classes of vegetables, whether for breast cancer, brain cancer, kidney cancer, lung cancer, or brain cancer, pancreatic cancer, prostate cancer, and finally, stomach cancer. Which is more nutritious? A salad with an oil-free dressing or a salad with an oil-based dressing? And the answer is not fat-free, but fat-filled because many of the phytonutrients in salad are fat-soluble, and so our body needs fat to absorb them. The bioavailability of nutrients is higher when you take in fat. Now, oil is not good for you. Just five walnut halves is all the fat you need to get at those fat-soluble nutrients in our greens. Okay, so let's put together this potent cancer-fighting salad. Using as much organic vegetables as we can, let's start with a handful of spinach, some shredded beetroot, a few florets of broccoli, perhaps a bit of thinly sliced red cabbage, chopped green onion, some red bell pepper just to make it look pretty, and then a raw tahini, lemon and garlic dressing to finish. When preparing garlic, it's best to let it sit for 5 to 10 minutes after slicing, chopping or mincing. This is because garlic contains two enzymes, allium and allianase, that are separated when the garlic clove is whole. When the cells are ruptured through chopping, these two enzymes interact to form a new compound called allicin, which has cardiovascular, antibacterial and anti-cancer benefits. Some garlicky dressing recipe ideas are in the description below. To boost this anti-cancer salad further, you could add some oregano and a pinch of cayenne pepper. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.